Yep. There we go. Okay. All right. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, thank you for attending the uh, grant administration webinar for the Professional uh, Development for Artists grants. My name is Kathy Collins. I am the program manager for this grant. We also have online uh, Lisa Hill, who is the program manager for the special event program grant uh, project grant. If I said that right today, what we're going to do is we're going to go over um, the grant agreement and the other documents, which you all should have received by now uh, that need to be signed and returned. If you have not received or did not see the email that I either sent out yesterday or earlier this morning, please let me know. Uh, you would have gotten a copy of your grant agreement, a W-9 form and a direct deposit information. Uh, in addition to going over those documents, I'm going to go over the process for getting reimbursed and other things that go into uh, the administration of your 2025 Professional Development for Artists grants. So let's get started on that. And uh, just as a matter of housekeeping, if you would, please keep your uh, mics muted. And we will, um, if you would, if you have any questions, just post them in the chat section. Okay, um, every grant that comes through Hillsborough County um, has a grant agreement, which is essentially the contract by which um, your grant is being governed. So you need to make sure that you carefully review your grant agreement. You also need to keep in mind that the grant application narrative and budget, which you previously filled out, which was approved by the Arts Council Board and then by the Board of County Commissioners, is incorporated by reference into your grant agreement. That means that whatever you asked for in your grant application is what you are allowed to ask for reimbursement for. You can't change things without getting permission ahead of making any changes, and you would certainly not be allowed to make any substantial changes. Now, for example, if something became, becomes um, unavailable and there is a substitute for it, which is not beyond the amount that you asked for, you can submit what's called a grant change request to us before you purchase it, and then we will review it and determine whether or not we can um, grant that request. The grant agreement that you sign is not legally binding until a representative of the of Hillsborough County signs it. Once they sign it, you will get a copy of that grant agreement. So the steps are review the grant agreement that I sent you, and unless you have any questions, sign it. Then you'll return that along with a signed and dated uh, W-9 form, which we need in order to be able to pay you. Then once all of that's in, we set up your account, we get a supplier number for you, we set up a purchase order, and then when the grant period comes around and you've expended your uh, what you've outlined in your budget, then you can make a request for reimbursement. So to be clear, your grant period is from January 1, 2025 to August 15, 2025. You can't make any, um, can't incur any expenses related to the grant either before January 1st or after August 15th because they will be denied. Um, and you can, again, only ask for what you asked for in your grant application. So if you either asked for a piece of equipment or an educational experience, you're limited to what you said you were going to do in there. And again, because this is a reimbursement based grant, that means you have to spend the money in order to get reimbursed. Now, in order to get reimbursed, you're going to use the neighborly uh, portal, which you used for your grant. You'll use the same password, the same login. And when you sign in, it'll take you to your particular um, to your uh, account. And then once you're in there, you're going to see, you're gonna be looking to the left, there's like a sidebar and it says reports. You're gonna click on reports and you're gonna look for PDAG invoice for reimbursement payment. So what you're gonna to need to do is you need to fill this out online completely. And then at the, I think it asks at, at some point for you to go ahead and attach the backup documentation that you're going to need in order to get reimbursed. 
Now, as this grant allows for both uh, equipment or an educational uh, experience, I am going to go through each so that everyone who's asked for the one or the other will know what they have to do. For equipment, you're going to have to provide an invoice or a receipt which shows the item that you ordered, that it was received, when it was ordered, when it was paid for, and the amount that was paid for. Then in addition to that, you need to provide some type of documentation to show that it was actually paid. So that would include either a bank statement, a credit card statement, a cash app receipt, something that shows how it was paid and that it was actually paid. And then we like to see something that indicates that the item was actually received. So it could be a copy of, you know, if it comes by Amazon or you just take a picture of it and you let us know. The other thing is, and this is something that came up in the last fiscal year, each individual artist has to personally pay for the items. You can't put it on someone else's credit card and then get a reimbursement. You have to pay for it yourself. So just make sure that whatever you purchase, you keep all your documentation. Now, if you are actually if you are getting a piece of equipment, my recommendation to you is to to get it, pay for it, get the documentation and submit your request for reimbursement immediately. You don't have to wait until the end of the, the grant period in order to do that. If you order it on January 1st and you get it in and everything is good, submit your reimbursement request and we'll submit it in for you to get paid. You just can't order it on December 31st or 30th and you can not order it on August 16th. It has to be within the period of January 1 to August 15. Now, for the educational experience, this can be a little bit more, um, it, it can be tricky sometimes. You need to provide us with like an itinerary receipt or an invoice for the actual, um, let's say you're going to a conference, for the conference or for the residency or whatever you went to, along with, again, the backup to show that it was actually paid for. If you are going asking for any type of travel or lodging, you're limited to, again, to what you asked for in your grant budget. So that cannot mean that, let's say, you're going to go to Arizona for an educational experience. You can't turn it into a 30-day trip where you travel around Arizona and then give us a bunch of different travel statements of you going to and from the educational experience. You have to travel from Tampa or a surrounding area to your location or a surrounding area and back. Um, it also must be a, if you're going to rent a car, it has to be a commercial rental car. You can't use um, non-commercial things. Travel costs, or I'm sorry, travel costs and dates have to match what you indicate in your education, in your um in your application, and they have to match what you put you put in for the itinerary, the receipt, or the invoice for the actual experience. Lodging, if you're going, if you have to pay for anything, has to be a single occupancy for just you. You can't have more than one person in there. And again, you have to pay for these things. You can't have someone else pay for it and then ask for reimbursement. But again, just remember, you have to show what you paid for, how much you paid for, and when you paid for it and what it is, and then have backup to show that it actually was, in fact, paid for. Again, whatever you send in to me, I am going to look at. I will, in fact, pull up your application. I'll pull up your budget. I will look and make sure. We did have a problem last year with somebody who asked for things that were not within their budget, and they didn't receive all of their grant because they did not stick with what they asked for in their budget. So make sure that you match up what you said you were going to do. Again, if something changes, you know, we just had two back-to-back -to -back hurricanes. If something were to happen in the location where your educational experience was going to be and they have to move it by a month or they have to do something, just let us know ahead of time. Don't get caught off guard by having something denied because you didn't keep us or keep me informed of what's going on. And make sure that whenever you submit this, don't again, don't wait till the last minute. If you wait till the last minute and you don't have all the documents that you need, that is not going to extend the period of time for you to be able to submit your request for reimbursement. 
everyone who receives a grant from Hillsborough County has to give the county lo uh, has to give the county credit. This logo that is on the screen is the one is the only logo that we want people to use. We will get it to you. It will come to you from uh, the county communications department. If for whatever reason you're unable to like upload or use the logo, we want you to at the very least use the words with the support of the Hillsborough County Board of County Commissioners somewhere in it. If you have a website and you're talking about all the things that you've done, make sure that you put the logo up or you put those words up. As this is county money that is being given to us by the Board of County Commissioners, we need to make sure that the county gets any and all credit that they can get for providing this funding. Um, we have a website, albeit not a great website at the moment, and we are getting a new one, but we would like you to make sure that you post anything that you're doing. Let's say, for example, you're going to be in a local show and you're going to, you know, it's either going to, to show what you've done with this grant or maybe it's just your work in general. We want you to promote yourself. So you can add it to our website. If you have a problem, you can let me know and I will add it. You just have to give me the pertinent information. Hopefully at some point during this fiscal year, we will have the new website up and it will be a little bit more friend, uh, user friendly and people will be able to see it. Also, if you are going to have a show or you're going to be involved in something, you know, like HCC has... Uh, an event called Now on View, where they have local artists do things. Let us know. We want to be able to see your work out in the public. We also have a communications department that wants to promote local artists. So again, keep us advised of what you're doing. Then that way we can uh, help promote you through other things. Now, when the grant period is over, it is over on August 15th. By September 30th, you're uh, to give us a final report. The final report, want, we want to know, you know, what did you do with the money that we gave you? How did it change or advance your career? Send us some photos of what you did. Give us some evidence that you gave Re Hillsborough County recognition. Essentially, what we want you to do is just tell us what you did during the grant period. How did you use the funds and how did it uh, make a difference for you as an artist. One thing I do want to um, just tell you, I can't give you a specific date yet, is one of the things we're going to try this year is we are going to partner with uh, Tempest Projects and try to ha hold a show in probably October where you all will be invited. It'll be curated specifically for you. It'll be part of another event, but it'll be an opportunity for you to show your work. Um, basically I'll get you more information, but we've just kind of started it. It'll be, um, probably in conjunction with an art tour that they put on in, I think October, and we'll have a curated room where your stuff can, can be shown and people can see what you're doing. Cause we want to be able to promote art within Hillsborough County. There are a lot of artists who have gotten this grant before and they've done a lot of great things. So we need people, we need everybody arts and culture is under fire. So we need to promote you all and show what you have done with the funds that you've received. Now, I know I've gone through a lot of information and it's been pretty quick. And I, uh, I, I know that I talk a little too fast, but if you have any questions, put it in the chat. Um, if you can't get it in the chat for whatever reason, you can always call or email me. Please remember something. I am here to help you. No question is too small or insignificant. I will answer anything that I can, and I will help you in any way that I can. So with that, if Lisa can see if there are any questions in the chat. Yep, there's a couple. Okay. Um, Jessica could not see the logo when it was on. Um, she wanted okay. to see if we could see it again. Can you there go back to right that? There it is right there. That's the there, logo. That's it. It's very simple. It's just the hill. It doesn't even have the little, I don't think the, I'm not sure if it's got the little orange thing on the bottom. I nope. think it's just the Hillsborough County, Florida. That's all you have to put on there or the words with the support of Hillsborough County Board of Commissioners. You know, if you put on your website, you're excited to say that you've received a grant, just put something up to show that you actually, that, you know, you're giving them credit for it. 
Um, also, Jim asked if you could re repeat um, the area where you're showing the neighborly portal to show how they get into the re reports. He says he can't see okay. that. So his, uh, go to when you go into neighborly. OK, you're going to this is going to be your landing site where you're going to sign in. You use the 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 uh, login and the password that you use to create your application. OK, then you just you hit sign, hit sign. Then it'll bring up your application. And so if you look to the left, there's like a tab bar that says application, administration, documents, uh, scoring, accomplishments, goals, and then it says reports. The reports section is the thing you want to click on, and then it's going to bring up either reimbursement payment or the final report. You'll click on first the reimbursement payment and fill out the the whole form. Then when you're done and you've gotten your uh, reimbursement and you want to fill in the final report, then you go back to the report section and click on final report. Does that answer that question? Or and did I, if I was not following what the question was, let me know. Um, yeah, I think they were just looking to find the menu item from what I can okay. tell. But if you have you another just, question, please add, add that into here as well. Um, Dylan said that he thought the Art show sounded awesome at Tempest Projects. And um, Cherie asked, would we also submit or list an event or feature that isn't local? I'm assuming she means in the website. Okay, if it if it is specifically for you, if it is something that you are or you are participating in, uh, we can look at it and see what the event is. We do like to keep things local, just because uh, we do get a lot of requests for things that are outside. But like for example, the other day I just got a request to put something in about a. Uh, residency in Portugal. So we will put that that kind of thing up because artists like to apply for things like that. So if you have something that's coming up, let's say you're going to, I don't know, you're going to be in a reading or you're going to do something that you want people to know about, you know, let me know. Especially as a grantee, we can also figure out a way to get it out in like a, an email blast as well. She said, uh, Cherie says, uh, okay, I'm presenting at a national conference with the funds, so that is helpful. Thank you. Okay, that sounds imp that sounds really great that you're presenting at a national conference. Um, so, is there any other quest? Oh, here we go. Jim's typing again. Okay, so he says on the portal, and all I'm seeing on the left is artist information, proposal information, um, narrative. Budget, okay. work sample. All right, That's Jim, all right, if you are already in there, let me just tell you one thing. I have not done the step that I need to do to allow you to get in yet to post a report because we don't have the grant agreements back so that you may only be seeing the things with respect to your application. You may not have access yet to the other things because I haven't given you access to it yet. And that may be the case, yeah. He's okay. Thumbs up. I'll help you though. Like when we get down to it, um, it, once all the grant agreements are back and things are are in place, I then will go in and I'll change your status. You can look, and if you still can't find it, you can let me know. But I'll let everyone know when I do that. Um, and it usually it won't happen right away. It's not going to happen until all the grant agreements are in and signed, and we have things kind of in place. I then move it to payment process. That makes sense. Uh, somebody, uh, Jesse Goldstein is typing something. And I apologize. I uh, for some reason, when we set this up, it's not allowing me to unmute you or we would be able to have questions otherwise. So Jesse says, so sorry if you've already gone over this, but I had issues joining this meeting and missed the first few so slides. Will you be okay. emailing this afterward? Yes. Yes, we will. I will uh, make this webinar into a PDF and I will send it out to everyone. And so you'll be able to see every one of the slides. And then if that doesn't help, you can ask and I can send you the recording. It's basically just me kind of going over things again, the slides. And there's also an admin manual, which I'm not sure if I sent to everybody. If I didn't, I will send that as well, because that goes into a lot of detail um, 
uh, of a lot of the things I talked about, but I'll make sure that everybody gets both. Uh, Jim says very informative and helpful, and Dylan says awesome. Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, thank you Christine for taking time. Castro was typing something. Okay. Give her a sec. She says, thank you very much. I'm new to this all. I'm very excited. Okay. Again, please don't ever think that you, you can't ask me something. I was a grantee before I took this job and had to do this like from the beginning by my on my own when I was running a nonprofit. So, uh, you know, no question should go unanswered. Don't feel free to call. And again, you know, I typically will answer things. If I see the phone ringing after hours, I know everybody has jobs. I'll try to answer it or I'll try to answer the email as soon as I see it. Um, Jory um, says, in terms of the logo, should it remain on the website indefinitely? It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to stay on beyond the time of this particular grant. The fiscal year for the Hillsborough County runs October 1 through uh, September 30th. So you don't have to keep it up beyond that. Now, you might want to keep it up a little bit longer if, for example, we have the show in October and you want to promote it, but you don't, you're not required to keep it up indefinitely. And you only have to, I mean, you, you know, use your best discretion with respect to it, because I know a lot of you are working artists. Um, if it's something that is not pertinent to this, then you don't have to necessarily include it. Okay, she says, okay, or they say, okay, thanks, makes sense. Again, the logo, we will request the logo to come from the comms department, and they'll send it. If you don't get it, by say, I, I don't know, sometime in January, let me know, and then I'll follow up with them. Okay. Uh, don't see anybody else right this minute. Does anybody else have any questions? Okay, again, okay. If, you th if you think of something afterwards, please don't hesitate to call or email. That's why we're here or why I'm here. I'm here to help. Not Again, I want to thank I want to thank everybody for taking time out of their day to attend this. And again, congratulations. Make sure you get your grant agreements back to me um, by I think it's like December 4th or 5th so that we can get all of this started and you can be well in place when your grant period comes around January 1. All right. Thank you, everybody.